Hi there. I am Mamata. I am an ex tech professional turned vocal channeler, and today I am going to channel Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is going to talk about the seven archangels who not only govern the earth but also our galaxy. Did you know that these seven archangels change every fifty thousand years, and that four of them are not so well known? So Archangel Michael talks about how the galaxy. Also moves across the universe, which affects which angels come and govern at which point of time. He also gives a nice and sweet permission slip so that you can connect with the angels. And towards the end, I will be picking seven questions from my Facebook community, which I found very interesting. So I hope you enjoy. Now, understand why there is a cyclical change of these seven archangels remember that your solar system is moving in the universe inside your galaxy and your galaxy is also moving towards the center of this universe now starting from the point or time of creation all galaxies in your universe will move outward from the point of creation and when it reaches the furthest more point then it will start coming towards the center again this is equivalent of what you call as coming home this journey of coming home can take millions of years for your galaxy and this is also referred to as moving towards your golden age so as your galaxy is moving across the universe it goes through its own phases of development and for each phase there are seven sets of archangels who govern so that it is happening as it was meant to be our functions are not what is described in your religious text and it is often misunderstood which is why we are representing this information so that you can shift to a more positive parallel version of earth where your past stories aligned with your aligns with your future development so as you know our collective michael we are mostly known for justice but that has been severely misunderstood we are the ones who purge what do we mean by that meaning we take something that does not belong in a place and take it where it belongs that experience can be referred to as purging and unpleasant by some of you because that process and the expectation from that process are not always aligned with what we do but if you can see our duties neutrally you will see that anything that is out of place and in the wrong place can become toxic for that place just like most of you are in jobs that you do not like or in relationships that you do not like so that environment becomes toxic for you or you become toxic for that environment our work is to make sure you go where you belong where you feel you are loved and accepted instead of feeling rejected and creating problems in that area or in that environment remember whenever something doesn't feel that they belong in a place that's when they start creating problems so our job is purging meaning taking something that doesn't belong there and putting back where they do belong all right so i have some questions from my facebook community and i would 
read out those questions so that Michael can answer them. Second question is from Anita Nan Kepner. She asks, is Nikola Tesla an ascended master? Nikola Tesla, while he was a human on earth, he was a genius, but he did not do what you refer to as what an ascended master does. An ascended master understands how reality works and your Nikola Tesla was very close to that. In some parallel version of Earth, he does become an ascended master, but in your version, he committed suicide before he could reach that state because he had finished whatever agreement he had agreed to do on this Earth. From Fredrag Mitik, and he asks Archangel Michael, Have you been incarnated on Earth? If so, what was your mission? And there is also a belief you were incarnated on Earth as Jesus Christ. Is this true? Now remember, we are a collective. So when you say that, Have you taken birth on Earth as a physical being? There could be a few angels who may have done that in the past from our collective on rare occasions but we are not the exact manifestation of Yeshua as you think because we are part of the Christ consciousness over soul so we are connected and hence it is very easy for humans to mistake the energies of Yeshua and ours. That is why most humans mistake our energies with other archangels. It's very difficult to discern because we are part of the same oversoul and carry similar energy signature. So, yes, some of us, one or two angels from the Michael Collective, had taken birth on Earth. But that was many years ago. 